Welcome to the second part of oscillations. In this part, you will learn about displacement. Displacement. Earlier, we have defined displacement of a particle as a change in its position vector. But in this chapter, we will use the term displacement in a more general sense. It refers to change with time of any physical property under consideration. For example, in case of rectilinear motion of a steel ball on a surface, the distance from the starting point as a function of time is its position displacement. The choice of origin is a matter of convenience as we have already done in kinematics. Now consider a block attached to a spring the other end of which is fixed to a rigid wall. Generally, it is convenient to measure displacement of the body from its equilibrium position. The diagram shows a block attached to a spring and the other end of which is fixed to a rigid wall and the block moves on a frictionless surface. The motion of the block can be described in terms of its distance or displacement x from the wall. And in the second diagram, you can see that motion of an oscillating simple pendulum is described in terms of angular displacement theta with the vertical. So the term displacement is not always to be referred in the context of position only. There can be many other kinds of displacement variables. For example, the voltage across a capacitor is changing with time in an AC circuit is also a displacement variable. In the same way, pressure variations in time in the propagation of sound wave, the changing electric and magnetic fields in a light wave are example of displacement in different contexts. The displacement variable may take both positive as well as negative values. And in experiments on oscillations, the displacement is measured for different times. Mathematically, the displacement can be represented as a function of time. In case of periodic motion, this function is periodic in time. And the simplest periodic function is A sine omega t. Ft equals to A sine omega t. Ft is equals to A cos omega t. And as Cosine function repeats after 2 pi, so it can be written as cos theta is equals to cos omega t plus 2 pi. Means cos omega t equals to cos of omega t plus 2 pi. It keep on repeating after 2 pi. Let time period is denoted by capital T. So f function will be equals to f of small t plus capital T, where displacement keeps on repeating after t plus capital T, means a cos omega t is equals to cos omega into t plus t, that means a cos omega t plus omega capital T. Or you can say, from the first equation and second, omega t is equals to 2 pi means t is equals to 2 pi by omega. The function f is then periodic and its period t is given by t is equals to 2 pi by omega. Thus the function f t is periodic with period capital T and will be denoted by function of small t will be equals to function of small t plus capital T. The same result is obviously correct if we consider a sine function means a function equals to a sine omega t. 
and also for a linear combination of sine and cosine functions like a sine omega t plus b cos omega t with the same period capital T. Displacement as a combination of sine and cosine functions. Let A denotes D cos phi and B denotes D sine phi. So the function will become D cos phi sine omega t plus D sine phi cos omega t. By taking D common and using sine A cos B plus sine A sine B cos A equals to sine A plus B, you can write the function f t will be d sine omega t plus phi d in terms of A and B. A square plus B square will be d square sine square phi plus d square cos square phi means A square plus B square will be equals to d square or d is equals to a square plus b square under the root. Now phi in terms of a and b on dividing equation 2 by 1 you will get b by a equals to d sine phi divided by d cos phi and the d will be cancelled out and tangent phi will be equals to b by a. Or you can say that phi is equals to tangent inverse b by a. So you can calculate d and the phase angle phi by using these equations. So any periodic function can be expressed as a superposition of sine and cosine functions of different time periods with suitable coefficients.